What a day. Wow. I'm still processing it. I didn't expect it to feel as good as, as it did. And something that caught me completely off guard was how I felt when Richard was being taken out of the van today. Was that just me? I, I assume other people might have feeling like that. I have never, ever felt like that before when following a case. I choked up a bit. I felt a bit emotional, I won't lie. And I wasn't expecting it. It just hit me watching the video. I played it here. I loved it. I loved it. I want to see this every day during the trial. I love the little white van. I love the big bulky correction officers and the ISP standing there. I loved how they were taking him out of the van and marching him in. He looked small. He looked frail. I loved it. Get into that courtroom, you dirty b****. Allegedly. I'm going out on a whim here, but I, I think a lot of you may have felt that. It's something we worried that we might never ever see. And it's just brilliant to see it. I love that he has been marched in to face court, to face a judge, to face the girl's family. And imagine how they felt, the girl's families, when Richard was brought in. I get goosebumps and chills just thinking about that. I'm, I'm so glad they've got this. Emotion was filed straight away. I put screenshots up here of, of things that I talk about. A gag order, basically, to keep all family members and legal representatives gagged from talking about the case outside of court. Nothing too unusual here, given the circumstances. The prosecutor, as we expected, gave some reasons why it should remain sealed. An active investigation. They referenced a letter from Becky and the online petition that I shared here a while back on my community tab. I think it has 40,000 signatures. But the biggest thing of all is confirmation that the prosecutor and the cops believe that Richard Allen did not do this alone. They believe that other people are involved. Tips are still coming in and they want to protect the case. They reference the public's lust for information. And when Richard Allen's attorney spoke, they said keeping it sealed is, is just going to fuel that and the desire for information because we don't have it. Which is a fair point. So the judge has taken all that into consideration. I can't find any... I don't know how long she's going to take. It could be a couple of hours. It could be a couple of days. It could be a couple of weeks for all I know. But all I know is that she has taken some time to consider it. The court date in January has been pushed back to February. And as Alan was being taken out, taken back out of the court, he whispered to someone in the front row, I love you. They tapped their chest and said, I love you back. I don't know who this person was. I haven't seen anybody who's able to confirm who it was just yet. And that was that. The court date for January, like I said, pushed back till February. Richard is also looking for bail. I talked about this this morning. Richard is not getting bail, but it might force, it, it will force the prosecution into showing a bit of their hand maybe sooner than they wanted to. So main things are, everyone is gagged. They do believe that someone else is involved. Who is it? And can they prove it? I cannot wait to find out. But I can. I can wait if it jeopardises this case. Justice for Abby and Libby above all else. Richard has very good attorneys and they're doing, they're doing well by the looks of it. Some interesting comments from one of them outside the court afterwards. He said he read the probable cause and he said even after reading it, it's not clear from that that other people are involved. So he said that news that came in court today was also news to him. And that could be, Fox, that could be a cheeky little move there by him. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I believe that. There is a reason why this is sealed. Like I said, Richard has good attorneys. They're going to do what's best for him. That's their job. I've nothing against them. If you want a good justice system and a fair trial, we need that. I'm glad he has good attorneys. I don't want them to have any excuses. This will be big news when the judge makes up her mind. Like I said, no idea how long that's going to take. I can't find any reference to a time frame on it. I just really hope, now that we know, now that we know they think other people are involved, are they close to putting a case together there? How close are charges there? Do they even know who the other people are? Anyone who has any involvement in this, I want caught and done. Justice for Abby and Libby isn't about getting one of the people involved. It's about getting all of them. And that's it really folks, I will leave you with footage of Richard leaving, 
I talked about at the start how I love the footage of him being dragged in. And it's the same with going out. I love seeing someone who they believe is involved in custody, in a little, little white van, all the security, all the, all the police around him. I love it. Richard is off back to his cell where he's going to pretend to be asleep. I love that he has to go back there. I, I love that I know he's going to have to walk past a lot of cells to get to his cell. And we know some of the stuff that is being said to him. So enjoy pretending to sleep tonight, Richard. Good luck. God bless. I hope everyone has a lovely day.